Hi everybody, welcome to Draw for Initiative. My name is Sarah, I'm the artist behind the cat on the table <laughs> that has a dying meowing thing going on. <laughs> and uh, this funny girl next to me is Tina, my dearest friend, here, <laughs> who's having fun with the bogs. Oh, it's the wrong series. Now I got it. This is not the series where we annoy the hell out of you in the beginning. No. No, you do that in all the other series. I sometimes I hear wow and sometimes I hear meow. So as you probably have guessed, we do have exploding kittens today to paint stuff with from off insert preposition here. Um and uh yeah, of course we goofy. The game is goofy. It's a game for two to five players, by the way. Uh, seven years and up for about 15 minutes. And there's two editions. The safe for work edition and the not safe for work edition. Is also, your painting safe? As far as I know, there's no... Um, there's a new one coming up. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. Uh, at the time of the recording, of course, you will see that in the distant future. Woo but is your painting safe for work? Or not uh, so much. Say for masking fluid, I'd say. <laughs> Explain <laughs> what did you want to go for with well, your painting of this game? Don't this make meow. If you're, have, <laughs> she's having the lid open. I'm taking the meow away from you now. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I try to uh, create a new card. So, dear Matthew Willman. If you need inspiration for a new card, you can always call me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're exploding. <laughs> what was your inspiration? Um, a song that I'm not going to sing because copyright infringement and I don't want you to bleed from your ears. But it's by Miley Cyrus originally and it's uh, I came in like a wrecking ball. And there's lots and lots of funny pictures of I came in like a Pokeball <laughs> with a Pokemon and for whatever reason I even before remembering the Pokeball thing I saw a kitten in the same position on a bomb like I came in like a fucking bomb I don't know I'm gonna <laughs> cut that so yeah that was my my thingamajig uh, shall we show? Flash. No, um, <laughs> not we're, this kind of bomb. No, we're not gonna flash you. We're gonna show you what we painted now. And here we are. Let's explode with some kittens. Yay! This is really a tiny, tiny card surface that <laughs> you're working with. And it with. totally hates me. Oh No, it, it just me. challenges you. It hates me. It challenges you. It hates me. Mm. Ah, it made me cry for instances. Yeah, you were really frustrated at times with this one. But yeah, I mean, shit happens. Yeah. No? Yeah. Maybe. But in this state here, it worked fine, right? Yes. The pencil and the ink pen. Yeah. And it worked fine until the masking fluid entered the game yeah it, it really does not like you <coughs> a lot so yeah oh well no masking fluid for me mm -hmm. i guess mm -hmm. also some screw ups with the uh, letters did you misspell or no. do you mean size wise? The size wise yeah that i find that always so difficult to keep them spaced out right and uh, the same size and everything. Yep. It's like, ah, oh, I hate <laughs> that. That's why I usually don't have any words on my uh, artwork that I cannot use either a stamp or a stencil for. Yeah, <laughs> really but I, I really wanted to do my yeah. own Exploding Kitten card. So, yeah. yeah, it worked fine in the beginning and then... Screw it. <laughs> what was uh, the inspiration for your theme on that card? I it's, guess some talks we had before. <laughs> it's, a, it's an onion cat, right? It's an onion cat, yeah. It's an 
definitely exploding kitten. And now Ex you explosion audience. by onions. <laughs> now audience, you can puzzle it out and figure out what exactly is the conversation that we might have had. <laughs> so and that we totally not often have. Totally. No, it's once every decade to have a conversation <laughs> like that. But yeah. But I like the idea that um, you took uh, that topic, which is definitely not in the game yet. Not even in the Not Safe for Work edition. Yeah, it's not I, I really, I really wonder about that why like, they yeah. didn't put that in because it was would be one of the first uh, things yeah. i would think i mean of. there's there's certain areas you go to go to when you want to have uh, like uh, either dirty jokes or well not so intelligent kind of uh, word plays and stuff so i really wondered why they didn't have the fart jokes and stuff at this point, you could uh, still make out it should be uh, an onion cat. Yeah. It was, you know, I recognizable. Think I think her name is Charlotte. Could <laughs> <laughs> Word. No. Maybe. Yay. I don't know. But yeah, she looks cute. Yeah. At this point, she does. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe you want to think about... Uh, Painting the backgrounds first and then having your subject on top <laughs> instead of using masking fluid because that always frustrates you that you <laughs> then have to cover up also your... also the the white gel pen in the end. Yeah. Again. That too. It, it's just some supplies are maybe not to your advantage there. Yeah. I totally like the face of your uh, cat there. It's so happy. Yeah, she she's <clears throat> wrecking it all. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm I'm playing that song again in my head, and I Me played too. it the whole time while I was painting, and uh, while I was sitting next to you doing other artwork, and you were painting your painting, and I couldn't say anything, <laughs> and I wanted to sing that goddamn song, and I'm not good at singing, so it would have been horrible, and it's just, ah, oh. yeah, <laughs> but the, when, when we decided, okay, next game that we're gonna Paint is Exploding Kittens, that was the song that immediately stuck in my head and I had to go with it. It's like, yeah, there's a kitty on a bomb and she's having fun. It's so It's fitting. a show. It's so fitting. I wish I had this idea, really. <laughs> that would have been fun, would we have had the same idea? So, <laughs> so now we have the fart jokes, the naked jokes. Um, we can't sink any further, I guess. Well, it's it's not. We well, our humor did not sink. It's uh, it just well evolved to vacation. a different stage. <laughs> it's on vacation for a while. We will have the very intelligent. Uh, wordplay fun jokes again in the future but with this game you kind of go dirty wait wait don't promise him too much I, they might not hear but you and i we're gonna have the intelligent jokes again and not the well oh let's let's uh see if we can fart the star wars theme kind of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get back to the intelligent parts again but with this game it's it just screams for... Yeah. It's just like uh, Cards Against Humanity. You mm -hmm. really want to mm -hmm. be... Well, <clears throat> maybe not as sophisticated. And you maybe want to let loose with your dirty jokes and <laughs> stuff. So it just says, come on. Be goofy today. Be inappropriate. <laughs> By the way, I think we might never do Cards Against Humanity. No, nope. Although there's lots and lots of uh, illustration-y... I did a comic strip for really? my favorite haiku, and that's all that I'm gonna do. <laughs> ah, yeah, you showed me that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, everything else is not safe for this channel, I guess. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling that we should have this game on. And there are so many other games that are on our list. We just compiled, by the way, before recording this voiceover, we just compiled the <laughs> list for the next season. 
So, yeah, there's so many games that we got a pain. And we didn't uh, think about uh, September, October, uh, Essen coming up. Yeah. So there's... there will be, there might be some changes for, for newer games, for example, that we might want to play earlier and paint earlier. Yeah. So it might be a surprise even for us. Yeah, yeah. But so far, we have 10 games in a list that we want to paint. Also, November, uh, which is GCon coming up. Yeah, but, well, probably we're not gonna go uh, game shopping there. It's more like playing only. Yeah. It's it's very different from Spiel. So, Spiel is the trade show, yeah. the classic go shopping big, big time. And BGGCon is sitting together with strangers and uh, play board games all mm. day long, which is such a cool thing. And there's, by the way, on screen on the left uh, footage, there's the, excuse my language, the fucker is coming out. It's called Masking Fluid and it hates Tina. Uh, I don't know why it is i guess it's because this is the hot press paper and it's very smooth and there is even though the paper is very dry to the touch and we had the um hair dryer 10 minutes straight high set setting onto the paper I and it guess, was like a really warm day that day i guess there's some residual liquid in there that just does not play well with the masking fluid yeah. on top. So yeah, I it, it ripped the paper. Again. I really felt like starting anew with this one, but it's it's a lot of time going yeah, into this. Yeah, so. I'm sorry, Matthew Inman. I'm next sorry. time. Next, next time. time. Yeah, I'm gonna do better. But well, yeah, <laughs> maybe just start with the background and then go to the foreground, <laughs> and then you don't have to use uh, masking fluid. But I don't want to. Well, then you have to paint around it. Then yeah. you don't need masking fluid either. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or maybe try the really thick uh, cold press paper that I have that handles masking fluid very well. Or maybe a different option. masking fluid, since this one was already... Uh, you know, like plump. Uh, no, that was the one in the fine applicator that kind both. of dried out. Both. I in the big part as yeah, well? Yeah, I, okay. I picked a big thing out there that was already dried. So it could be huge. that it's too hot in my studio for the masking fluid. And there we be. have the results of the masking yeah, fluid. Yeah, and so. I'm ripping the masking fluid away because she's kind of like, I don't, I, ca I can't, I can't, can you do it, please, please, please. So I did, and I tried to stay as uh, gentle with the paper as I could. Managed for a bit, but other parts, not at all. It ripped on the onion, it ripped on the uh, bathroom door. It was really working fine with the text, though. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the because the surface is so small, I'm I'm not sure. I don't have the problem that you have with the masking fluid using the same paper, but I use it differently. Meaning I use it on dry paper only before I even start painting. Yeah. First thing I do is uh, apply the masking fluid. Yeah, and not have anything underneath, no color, no nothing. So. Yeah, I usually feel like I should start out with the most uh, more bright and light colors, and then going on to the darker ones. So mm. that's why I want to cover them up before mm. uh, I start out with the with the dark colors. But it doesn't seem to work at all. So I would need to apply that um, instead of the light colors and go on with the dark colors and then, and then go yeah. in with light colors. Yeah. But then I would fear that um, I get the uh, dark ones mixed up with that. So well, that, you can that always it, that blot. I, you know, wake it up Yeah, again. you can always blot. Um, that's one thing. Or you could maybe, depending on what game we're painting and what style you're going for, you could uh, leave a tiny millimeter white border and not go to the edges to your dark background that would be one thing as well or just be very very careful if you push the color instead of dragging it it might help it helps more with the purples and the reds though um the yellows and greens are uh, not so much i had way more blending there than i had with other colors so i guess it's just playing and 
working in a way that is suitable for you. In an upcoming painting, you will see that I leave a lot of white space um, if I really don't want color to mix. Yeah. yeah. Well, I really, really feel bad about the, um, the finished the fun, one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you went over it with um, watercolor pencil just to get back some of the details and have a bit more contrast. Um, did it take the pigment? Um, that one worked out quite well, but it still, of course, wasn't the same. Mm. And yeah, well, it's way more grainy then, right? It's not yeah, as smooth. You, you can see that, definitely. I mean, it's watercolor pens, but um, uh, pencils, but it's... Yeah, I didn't feel like, you know, going again with water mm. and having the risk of um, messing up and yeah. bleeding and so I thought okay it's okay to have the grainy door and everything else um, wasn't that grainy uh, actually so it was okay hmm. yeah but your cat is definitely an eyesight now and She's look at tiger. that look at that fiery thing yeah, well, the bomb's going off. And she's, she's like, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna come in here. I'm the tiger, Caddy. I'm the attraction. I'm awesome. Da -da -da -da. There's a, I think it's a she. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for whatever reason. Well, for whatever reason, that could be. Well, the, no, it's not the eyes. It's not the way I drew the the hairs. Um, but she still is a she. In not referring to the song or anything. I mean, I actually had the the painting of the uh, of Pikachu in my mind. It's like I came in like a Pokeball. <laughs> it's not. I yes, I had the song stuck in my head, but the picture that I saw was the Pokemon. <laughs> thing that inspired <clears throat> the kitty ball and uh, well there's Pikachu is not uh, female I like uh, the energy of it I really yeah, do she, um, funny enough though um, uh, I kind of had the uh, the struggle with the background uh, because it's very rainbow-y I wanted it to be very colorful yeah. just like the game but in the end I thought uh, maybe it's a bit too much because I have the tiger cat with a pattern and stuff like this uh, where's my contrast, where's my contrast but I guess the big black bomb does the job enough yeah. to the point that it's it's so okay. I really like that painting, it's nice it's goofy. It is. It's a goofy game with a goofy painting. And, and I had to struggle with the stripes, with the yeah. white stripes. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. But yeah, we're done. There it is. This is our painting for this week. We hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you really want to do us a favor, uh, give it a thumbs up this video and um, share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you feel like it uh, you can always uh, send us a message with your favorite games to paint yes. and to to play of course We're we, we would need to play that <laughs> that's so not an excuse no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> have fun everybody we're gonna see you next wednesday 9 a.m c.e.t back on this channel with a new game. Have fun everybody! Bye! Bye.